Hi, my name is Victor and today I'm going to talk about stair parts in Revit. Uh, so here I have copied a bunch of views representing pretty much the same level one. But you know, in a normal project you have a lot of views showing different things. You have work views, you have um, views that go on uh, sheets, you have uh, views for uh, cut exports and things like this and here I have just a simple stair and as you know um, to create a stair we can go here just draw our run yeah maybe not like this and when you hit OK we're going to see this uh, arrow created and this arrow will actually be created in all the other views that are existing already but if you copy that view for some reason and you don't uh, duplicate it with the tile link but you just duplicate it then it is lost and also, if you copy the stair without selecting the arrow and put it somewhere else, the stair will the stair arrow will be lost. And this can happen if uh, your stair is in a group, for example, and then you use that group multiple times uh, around the project. So, what's what's the solution for that? Actually, uh, if I create another one here and I'm going to copy that here and here w what's the solution for that like for tagging we have the tag O uh, option tag by category but this is only adding tags. Like right now, if I use tag by category, I'm going to add a stair tag. If I select tag O, I can still select the stairs or the stair run tags, but then it's going to be only the tag. It's not going to give me the arrow. I'm going to undo that. And if I want to create an arrow for those, I don't really have the option of uh, creating multiple arrows at once. I have to go here and here and here. Then I have to go to the other view and do that again. Like I have to go select that and continue. And do the same for all the views that we have here. So uh, I recently encountered this problem. I haven't really thought about it that much. Uh, but uh, what we did is a little um, Dynamo solution. It is used entirely with the Dynamo player and it doesn't really have any inputs. It's really cool. So let me show you how it works. Go to the Dynamo player and this is the stair paths by selected views script so how it works is I have I'm going to select a number of views here I'm actually going to leave the last one on purpose I'm going to select them like this and once they are selected I'm just going to press run script here that's all you don't need any additional settings for that so the script is automatically going to place those stair paths on all the selected views. Let's see if it worked. Yep, we have all of them now. We have them here on all the stairs. We have them here and here. We don't have them on the last one because it was not selected. So if I just let me let me do some more. So now we have even more, 
and I can select them all again. It's not going to create uh, multiple uh, stair paths on the same stair. It's not allowed. It's just going to create stair paths on the stairs that don't have one yet. In the views that don't have one yet. So let's run that again. And see, actually, I'm going to make this smaller so we can see what happens. It's really quick, actually. Uh, only the first time, as you may know, uh, when you run a script through the Dynamo Player the first time, it actually takes longer since what's happening in the background is that Dynamo Player is opening Dynamo and um, the solution. and that's why it takes longer so I'm actually going to give out this for free when I get up to 3000 subscribers on YouTube and until then you can find it for a small fee if you need it on my website there's gonna be a link below but well, whenever I get up to 3k only 3000 subscribers on YouTube I'm going to give this out for free so you can use it on all your projects wherever and of course if you would like um, if you have a problem in your company like something simple like that one that takes a lot of uh, time and it seems to be really stupid that you cannot do it all at once and you'd like a solution for that problem, you can contact me on my website revitexperiments.com. Thank you for watching this video and till the next time. Bye bye.